This is the food chain. Whether it's the African wild ass or the Indian olive ridley sea turtle, every organism has a special role in keeping our ecosystem in order. So what happens when one of them goes extinct? The food chain starts with producer organisms and ends with apex predator organisms. But not all of them have the capacity to disrupt Earth's biodiversity. Some are simply replaced by better or stronger species or fail to reproduce adequately before their predators get to them. This process is called natural selection. But that is not always the case with extinction. Species that can disrupt entire ecosystems are called keystone species. Now consider this. In the 20th century, the number of predators like wolves and cougars in the United States fell. This was partly responsible for a huge increase in the number of white-tailed deers. In the same way, in Britain, the number of sheep grazing the fields fell. With no sheep feeding on them, the grass grew taller. This led to a fall in the population of red ants which preferred short grass. The lack of red ants led to the extinction of large butterflies which were feeding on the ants. And the lack of large butterflies endangered natural processes like pollination which helps a species expand. So whether it's an apex predator or a producer organism, extinction or overpopulation of a species leads to a domino effect that can potentially destroy entire forests and kill the natural habitat of many more. In India alone, over 600 animals and 300 plant species are facing extinction. So it's not difficult to imagine that one of them being wiped out could trigger an overall collapse.